Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you have not subscribed to this channel. Now this evening I was reading something that was so crucial when it comes to William Ruto's government. I realized that there is a big problem between the economist ad advisor, economist advisor David D and this government of William Samoe Ruto. I don't know if it is only myself I've seen the cover photo of David D at his Twitter account. I don't know if this has been there for long because when I was just reading the tweets of David D and uh, he is the economist advisor of William Ruto, Ruto's government, his cover photo says that Kenya is a cruel marriage. It is time we talk divorce. Then there are certain kind of explanation below that cover that the Kenya project is dead due to our failure to develop national narrative to nature comradeship beyond the tribe. That is what David Indy has come out to say. There's something that David Indy has come out to post in his Twitter handle. This was to come out to justify something that someone came out posting on her Twitter handle because that person is a lady. So I want us to read whatever David Indy said. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a fundraising to support Nurdin Salash, who is going to take kidney transplant at Medhill Hospital, Parklands, Nairobi County. After reaching out this channel, and uh, he is among us, the supporters of this channel, he is requesting for your support. What you have, you can donate and support him through the number that I'm displaying below the screen. If you are willing to support him, support him with what you have, you can do what you have. I will appreciate so much. Now, David Indy is saying this. After the lady said that what measures are in place to bring into accountability, KEMSA and COVID loads of graft. How are we addressing issues of wastage in government? We are afraid of our AHF being NHF being stolen. Are we justified? Now, after this, David Indy came out saying this, that you are justified. This is a corrupt country. Taxes are stolen and wasted, but they remain payable. That is whatever David D is saying. When I look at the tweets of David Indy, I realize that David Indy is not good with his government, as we speak now. This comes after there was a leakage that there was a bit breach of relationship between David Indy and Rigadi Gashagwa and William Samaruto because the certain close allies of Rigadi Gashagwa and William Ruto are coming out to disagree with David Indy when it comes to his kind of advice to this government. I remember very well in a certain video here I said that uh, there was a certain invitation of David Indy being among those people who are going to be advisors of a certain country in Africa and that was Rwanda. David Indy was welcome to be those top most economist advisors of Rwanda. When Rwanda was so steep and was looking for those who are likely to put Rwanda on at least a very stable stage. Because there are several presidents or other leadership that 
they are not understanding a kind of roots that they should take towards let me say when it comes to the economy so when william ruto took over he believes and even when you look at some manifestos of william ruto as we speak now it is manifesto that was drafted by david indeed so when they took over david indeed has been there as economist advisor in every meetings when it comes to diplomatic issues david indeed has been there now when david indeed went to rwanda david indeed was sacked because the kind of advice he was imposing to the government or giving the government of rwanda <coughs> was not pleasable to the kind of leader the the the, the, the initial kind of uh, the leadership of rwanda so david indeed was compelled let me say he was expelled and uh, what made him to be expelled was because we are being told that the kind of narrative and advice that he was giving the government was not relevant is there any possibility of david indeed the camping the kenya kwanza government or rather william ruto to decide to sack him because the certain tweets that he has been always coming out to post now just 12 of hours david indi has come out to say this you have short memories and he came out <coughs> sharing a tweet that he tweeted i think 2021 2021 Mm, date 15th December where he came out say that if you are looking for an anti corruption platform don't support UDA Kenya we are not running on the platform if you believe Raila will eradicate corruption support him if you think Kenya needs fresh clean leadership support Ruben Kigame but for Krisik stop winning that is what um david d has come out to share but at the same time something that caught my attention is this cover photo is there any possibility of a crack or a whip between william ruto and david d because currently it is william ruto who employed David Indi as <coughs> the top most advisor of his government. So if he will decide to sack David Indi or rather there will be certain disagreement between David Indi and the government of William Ruto then it means that this Kenya Kwanza government is sour is showing us an indication that with the time people are going to exit this team mark words people under majority are going to exit the team and i told you here the reason is because of the blackmail from william ruto frustration because now currently we are being told that william ruto is a president that you cannot fully advise Sometimes he always advise himself at times he always console himself and that is William Samoei Ruto so when you look at some issues maybe David Ndi is correct giving him certain pathways towards stabilizing the economy William Ruto is feeling like that is not the direction but David Ndi is insisting so the only kind of the proposals that ndi might come up with might be irrelevant to william ruto so david ndi to come out to say that kenya is a cruel marriage it is time we talk divorce i will agree because now by justifying that the kenya project is dead due to our failure to develop a national narrative to nature comrades beyond the tribe this is something that is hitting kenya as the next video we are going to talk about how kalenjanization has been a topic 
across the Republic of Kenya. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you a simple question. Are you seeing <coughs> an indication that there is a fallout between David Ndi and William Ruto, as we are being told, that there is a possibility of a whip of William Ruto sucking his advisors? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.